People in Philadelphia can put their water worries to rest. That's because city officials now say the city's drinking water is safe and will not be impacted by last Friday's chemical spill into a creek that flows into the Delaware River. Our Rusty Mate has been following this closely for us, joining us now in studio with the details. So there was a lot of concern about this, but officials say all clear. Yeah, and that concern was understandably so after getting that alert uh, on Sunday it was. And, you know, the Philadelphia Water Department worked with some local as well as state and federal agencies to do this testing. And they tested together more than 100 additional samples just to be safe. And only one scientist saw that there was no detectable levels of chemicals from this spill. Did they feel confident in telling people that there's no threat? It's safe, it's contaminant free, and we can all enjoy it to drink, to cook with, to wash with, whatever you want. So I will drink to that. And just like that, Deputy Managing Director Mike Carroll proposed a tap water toast on Tuesday evening. He and Philadelphia Mayor Jim Kenney then took a big swig. This was all in an effort to prove that the city's water is indeed safe. The water department shared these behind the scenes photos with CBS News Philadelphia, showing chemists testing more than 100 additional water samples. The latest one was taken on Tuesday morning, and authorities say that they're confident the water is safe for consumption. Now, this all started on Friday night when authorities say that equipment failure at a Bucks County chemical plant resulted in 8 to 12,000 gallons of a liquid latex solution being spilled into Otter Creek, which then feeds into the Delaware River. On Sunday, the city sent out a public safety alert to everyone's phones recommending that residents use bottled drinking water instead of the tap. Well, that advisory was reversed just hours later, but not before creating some scenes of chaos as residents rushed to stock up on store bought water. City leaders defended their response to my colleague Kerry Carrado while pledging to look into doing better next time. Is there anything that you would have done differently after seeing maybe the panic and confusion from the very start? Well, we provide the information that, that people need, and we want to make sure we provide as much information as possible because we believe more information is always better. Now, the water department will continue to monitor the Delaware River as well as the plant where this spill started. That's all out of an abundance of caution. But again, city officials now say that the water is safe to drink and use, and no further advisory will be needed. Jim and Janelle, back to you guys. Thank you, Ross. Right, Appreciate it. People wanted to hear, Ross. Sure. Thanks for that.